Hey, what's up guys? Today, I want to talk about isolation training and how it pertains to bodyweight strength or strength training in general. And I'm going to be discussing this in terms of two points. Those are maximizing your strength and injury prevention. So firstly, why would isolation training be a valuable inclusion to your training program? Number one, increasing your strength and addressing particular deficits in regards to say muscles that are lagging behind. So any effective training program will predominantly consist of your major compound lifts and rightfully so. However, you do run the risk of creating certain deficits. Say you might have muscles or body parts that are lagging behind and not addressing those would be a major misstep. Your body will be held back neurologically if it does notice a deficit. Isolation training can definitely address that weak point. So in the example of pull-ups, you might be back dominant and maybe your bicep isn't getting as much attention as it should be. Secondly, isolation work can do wonders for injury prevention, giving a particular muscle or a particular body part more attention, more volume, more conditioning and getting it acclimated to a certain load. In my eyes, the best thing you can do for your training is to simply do the things that work and not what simply fits into a closed-minded, dogmatic way of thinking. Have an open mind, try some of these exercises out, I guarantee you'll benefit from these. The bodyweight tricep extension, absolutely phenomenal exercise for development of the tricep getting those hypertrophic changes, especially as a finisher at the end of your training session. You want to ensure that you have full body tension. Uh, this will ensure that you're getting correct force transfer to your upper body. You want to ensure that your core is tight, your glutes are tight, that you're keeping your elbows tucked in. Be mindful if they begin to flare out. That could potentially aggravate your elbow. And here I'm just demonstrating with parallettes, but in reality, you could really use any surface or ledge the main thing is just to ensure that it's at the right height or that you can produce an environment whereby the intensity is appropriate. So if you find that your triceps are lagging from any sort of pushing movements, your push-ups, your dips, say your chest dominant, this will be a very worthwhile inclusion to your training program. Definitely worth your time. So next up, the bodyweight bicep curl. Now I'm demonstrating this on gymnastics rings, which is excellent for replicating that movement pattern that involves flexion of the elbow and flexion of the shoulder. So functions of the bicep, uh, which crosses both the elbow and the shoulder. You wanna make sure that you're doing elbow flexion and not turning this movement into a row. So with the row, you're emphasizing extending at the shoulder. With the bodyweight bicep curl, you're flexing at the shoulder and the elbow. You want to make sure you're getting a peak contraction at the top. With every rep, you can eventually work on single arm bodyweight bicep curls. So I threw this here just as another option. You could use a barbell, but chances are if you're in the gym, then you probably do have access to dumbbells, which is obviously an easier alternative. Let's look at the rear delt fly. With most overhead pressing in general, you're getting a lot of activity in the anterior and lateral delt, but very minimal activity when it comes to the posterior deltoid. What we know for injury prevention, what we know about structural balance, maintaining balance of the entire shoulder is essential, and this isolation movement is a great way to address that. Very simple execution, straight arms, controlling the full range of motion. You don't want to use momentum and use an excessive bend of the elbow. Now with this exercise, decreasing your leverage makes the exercise that much harder, that much quickly. With all these exercises, I would use them as finishers at the end of your training session, working at lower intensity, higher reps, trying to work within that metabolic stress rep range. So your 10 to 15 reps should be ample. A couple sets, a couple times a week, that should be sufficient. So that's it from me. So I kind of did change my mind. I probably will be posting when I can, but at minimum every fortnight. Uh, like the video, subscribe. It really does help promote this channel. It's a very small channel. I appreciate it. Cheers guys, take it easy.